Hello, I'm Emily Spaven. This is your Week in Tech. This week we're filming from the Trampery Old Street, a workspace, members club and event venue. First off, let's take a look at some of this week's investment news. On-demand laundry and dry cleaning services application LaundrApp landed £5 million from undisclosed investors. This brings the London-based company's total investment to £10 million. Tech startup True Rating has announced the closure of a £9.5 million Series A round, led by international investment office Sandra. Based in London, True Rating enables retailers and restaurants to get real-time feedback by asking customers to rate their experience at checkout. Also, privacy-enhancing software firm Privitar landed £3 million and office catering platform City Pantry raised £1.1 million. The UK Government now has its first official blockchain provider for public services. Public sector organisations will be able to use blockchain technology for the first time, as the government has approved fintech startup Credits as one of its suppliers. Credits offers a platform for creating custom, interoperable blockchains. It's already been working with the Isle of Man government on a number of use cases for distributed ledger technology. Overseas, Uber China is in the process of merging with rival taxi firm Didi Chuxing. Uber launched in the country two years ago, but is yet to make a profit there. It's been reported that as part of the deal, Didi Chuxing will invest $1 billion into Uber's global company. In return, it will gain Uber's brand, business and data in China. Our download of the week is Takumi. Here's Sam Barrett, the company's head of business development, to tell us all about it. Takumi is an app that connects brands with influencers on Instagram. We target micro-influencers, those with between 1,000 and 50,000 followers. Influencers are matched with appropriate brand campaigns, and then the influencers get to choose the brands that they want to work with. The fact that influencers choose the brands and not the other way around means that they're posting content that's only genuinely interesting to their followers. We then pay influencers within 48 hours, and depending on the size of the campaign and the number of followers that you have, you can earn between 40 and 200 pounds per post and even earn up to thousands of pounds within just a couple weeks. It's a win-win situation, because influencers get to work with brands they love, and the brands get amazing content. And finally, Apple announced it's releasing more than 100 new and redesigned emojis later this year. The swap will come when Apple rolls out its new operating system, iOS 10, and we'll see the black gun emoji change for a green water pistol. Many of the current occupational emojis will become available in female versions, such as a female weightlifter and engineer. That's it for this episode of The Week in Tech. For more technology news, head to our website and follow us on Twitter. <laughs>